eight earth signs. This is for a Taurus Capricorn and Virgo. I'm going to be pulling um, just a couple cards for a general reading. Okay, so if it doesn't resonate for you, just um, that's fine. You can always check out another video, go to the next one, or just take whatever resonates for you and either us or somebody else. Okay, so you have rejuvenating rain and stepping into power. This one wants to come out and then we'll go fogged in. Alright, so rejuvenate and rain, clear the past, heal the present. Alright, so this is just saying maybe you need some type to like, some time to like cleanse. Alright, so like, you know, get them rid of the negative energy and bring in some positive energy. You can also try to like switch your room around and like, switch your house around and get rid of like this stale energy. Okay, this is like, uh, like some type of like feng shui stuff. Right, but rejuvenate and rain, clear the past, heal the present. So this is just saying. Whatever isn't serving you anymore, allow it to fade away and concentrate on what's working now. Don't allow what didn't work out, you know, for in the past to keep on bothering, you know, keep on messing with your mind. Stepping into power, you were stronger than um, beyond measure. Okay, this is just saying that maybe if other people are trying to take advantage of you or trying to just step all over you, this is the time for you to stand up for yourself and take your power back, okay? Stop allowing other people to feel like they're higher than you. Alright, and then you have fogged in, go slow, take your time. So you might be feeling like things are like not working out for you or you just feeling like you like fogged in, like you know, like maybe you're not sure which way to go. So if that is the case, it's like go slow and take your time. We don't have to rush things. It's better when we take our time and go slow so that way we can make sure everything is done. If there's anything missing, we make sure we get that done. We try not to rush. If you rush, that's when things mess up. The ace of swords and the six of wands. That's Two good cards. Okay, so right now you might be getting a promotion. This can also just mean, you know, um, like overcoming a whole bunch of stuff. Finally overcoming whatever situation that you were working on. Like, um, you see, oh yes, this has the crown on it. It's like, final, like victory. Okay, I couldn't figure out the word. And then anyway, Six of Wands is like victory right now. So you guys might be very happy right now um, in this situation. This can also mean that you guys are standing in your truth and doing what you really, um, want to do now. And this can also mean a truth is coming out for those of you, uh, other, you know, others of you. The Magician in reverse, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Moon. Okay, so you guys may be dealing with somebody who's a manipulator, all right? Somebody, um, the Magician in reverse, and then the Four of Cups is a manipulator and then this is also maybe like this person doesn't want to leave you alone so this person might be controlling all right so and then the moon you might be fearing to like leave this person but i feel like you're finally coming to realization especially with stepping into power like you're finally starting to stand up for yourself over these people and situations that are dragging you down so it doesn't mean okay and then um so if you're not in a relationship or if you're not dealing with a manipulator, this can just mean that, you know, you're feeling like empty and you're feeling like you're not believing in yourself, okay? You're fearing that you can't do the work, right? You're fearing that you can't do what you want to do. But you need to realize with the Ace of Swords that you have all the tools that you need. The first thing you need to do is believe in yourself. Once you believe in yourself, then stop letting the fear of, you know, um, stop you from what are, what you want to do, then you'll be able to have more options. You won't be feeling like you're missing out any more opportunities. Alright? So the actions and advice, the nine of swords, the wheel of fortune, the five of swords, you're allowing something to really drain you. Oh well. And then the five of cups I didn't see that. You're allowing something to really, really drain you. You're feeling like you're losing somebody. You might be walking away from somebody. Yeah, you might be finally standing up to somebody in your family, friends, relationship, job, doesn't matter. Um, finally standing up to somebody and it might cause you to wind up losing them. You know, they're always making you feel like you have to stand up for yourself or be on guard, right? They're always trying to win over you. So it's like in the two fives back to back is a challenge card. It's also a change card. So I feel like things are changing for you. It's causing you a lot of stress though. A lot of stress, a lot, a lot of anxiety, loss of sleep, you know what I mean? Um... But the Wheel of Fortune being here, this is also good karma coming in. So there is an ending of a cycle, but there's good karma coming in for you when the new cycle begins. Okay, so it's like you've been through a whole bunch of hell, right? And you're finally going to be rewarded after this. I feel like once you walk away from this situation or whatever this is, once you <laughs> walk away from this situation with the Eight of Cups, um, you will be fine. The Emperor and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you have to stand up for yourself, okay? Stand up for yourself. Take your power back, okay? That's what I'm going to write for this thing. Take your power back because I feel like you've lost it and you've felt drained for so long. 
And maybe you didn't believe in yourself, maybe because other people didn't believe in you, but it doesn't matter what they do. Right? So that's what we got for that. One more card, please. What else do they need to know? Three of Swords and Nine of Wands. Okay. Ah, whatever. We're just going to take all these. Okay. So the outcome is the Three of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be, like, heartbroken probably. But this person, if this person or situation always makes you feel like you can never be enough for them, then you know what I mean? You might as well just walk away and try something else that will work out for you. No point of staying where you're, like, not appreciated, not loved, right? Okay, so the next thing that's popping up for you is the Ace of Wands, a new love, a new passion, a new start, a new job, a new career, something new, a new home, doesn't matter. And then you have the King of Swords, which is finally, like, realizing stuff. The Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, um, cutting people out of your life that no longer serve you anymore. And when you do that, I feel like, you know what I mean, somebody else from the past is going to be resurfacing. I feel like they're not going to come, and so you actually, like, X these situations out and handle this first and heal from this. But yeah, somebody from the past is definitely um, coming back. So that's what I got for you guys. I hope you guys like my content. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Toodles.